So now we are going into perspective. Until now, we saw our cube like this, which is so-called orthographic projection, where uh, the far sides of the cube are the same size as the nearest sides. So these guys uh, shows you how it looks, where the near plane, the far plane and the object uh, between those. So now we are going to this, which is more natural because we are seeing in the real life things in uh, perspective. So this is the perspective projection, projection where uh, far things Maybe I'm gonna duplicate this cube so the things which are farther appear to be smaller instead of orthographic where they are the same size so and let's see this where if we are looking it in from orthographic as you see it looks like this but from the perspective it looks much more natural okay so back to code this is where we left off our cube in orthographic U. So let's get started. So first of all I'm gonna define a view matrix view and oh And this will be the peer matrix forty four and the, 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 the creates perspective projection matrix. First of all, I want to create translation mat matrix create underscore tran from translation. And this will be a vector, vector free, yes, and in the square brackets I'm gonna give it 0 .0, 0 .0, uh, 0 0.0 and let's say negative 3.0 okay so this this is our view matrix so now we need a projection matrix projection projection which is equal peer dot matrix 44 yes and create perspective projection matrix so create perspective projection matrix so the first value is the field of view I'm gonna give it 45 degree I think it's in degree yes the next thing is the aspect ratio so we are going to give it the width divided by the height, so 800 divided by 600 windows width divided by the windows height. So W underscore width divided by the W underscore height. height. Yes. 
Uh, the next is the near plane, which is which I'm gonna give it point one, and the uh, last argument is the far plane. So the those are the clipping planes. So. As you see in Blender, when I I'm get too too close to the cube, the cube gets clipped out. So it's uh, let's see from a better view. Yes, as you see in the bottom, this portion of the cube, this side gets clipped out or it is not rendered because this is the near plane where the rendering starts and the far plane let's say if I going I, maybe I'm gonna just uh, make it a little bit bigger okay so now and the far plane is when the cube is outside or, or it's too far from the camera it gets clipped too so let's say now as you see it is between the the near and the far plane but now it just disappears. So let's see how it looks like in this book. So this is the perspective. So everything outside these two planes gets discarded. So near plane, far plane. Do, 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 do. Okay. So now I'm gonna define the model matrix, which is still the uh, peer the matrix 44, and create from translation, yes, and give it a vector free peer that vector free. And square brackets give it just zero, zero, and zero. So this is the po position of our model or the cube itself. Yes. So now we're gonna need to get those location from the shader so, so model underscore lock or I'm gonna start with the view view location is equal to gl get uniform location gl get uniform location GL get uniform location and where to find it in the shader and we didn't define it in the shader yet but just give it the name U so next will be the projection projection uh, not the projection but the projection location Let's say proj lock proj lock is the same. So gr get uniform location. So I'm just gonna copy and paste and name it projection. And the last thing is the model location model underscore location. Yeah. And give it the name model so now 
we are getting those uniform locations but we need to of course define it in the vertex shader so after the transform location uniform matrix for um, not space matrix for this will be the um, view Form matrix for this will be the let's say the model and the uniform matrix for projection projection. So let's separate it a little bit. View model projection and view model projection so yes in the position now I'm gonna multiply it so first of all the projection times the projection times the view times the model and this times a transform times the vector a vector for position so projection view model and transform and it needs to be in this order so some weird things happen when you uh, not multiplying in this order so it it you need to read it I think from the right to left so first we need to uh, multiply the model with the transform then then matrix then the view with the model and the last thing is the projection with the view so okay view model transform and projection so now I'm gonna set their values so we need a GL uniform matrix for FV Okay, we have it. I'm gonna just yes, copy it. GL uniform matrix for FV, and the first I'm gonna give it the view location. Yes, the number of matrices one. Transposing is GL false and uh, let's say I, I just I just yes the view okay so I'm gonna copy this and paste this two time and change this to projection location projlock and projection and model lock and the model itself okay so we are getting the uniform location we are setting okay uh, Let's see what happens now. I think it's all. Yes. So now our cube is in perspective. Like, uh, where are you? Uh, like this, not in orthographic, like this, but in beautiful perspective.
so let's see what happens when we change some of these values so let's say the field of view I don't know 25 degree oh the cube is closer 15 degree oh let's get it bigger wow uh, it looks amazing <laughs> so 85 degree mm -hmm. it looks like it's much farther But actually the position of the cube or the view didn't change just this so I'm gonna set it back to 40, uh, 45 and I'm gonna change the near clipping plane so let's say 2.5 uh, and, and we see through the cube <laughs> So we see the inside of the cube. This happened very often in old games when we get too close to the wall and you see through the wall, the walls, or see through through objects. <laughs> Let's see, three point oh. And yes, we are seeing the inside of the cube. And these are clipped out are the near clipping plane as you see the outside of this cube. So I'm gonna change this back to 0 0.1. So we can change the cube position, let's say move it. one unit on the X so now it's it's to the right one unit to the X and let's say negative 1.0 on the Y yes Okay, I'm going to change this back to, to the default. So, you can download the code from my GitHub repository. Choose.